Hi, this is Oliver from Blenders.com and in this quick tutorial I'm going to show you how to use masks in the Blender Compositor. Uh, for that I'm going to be using uh, Bezier Curves and the new Roto Bezier add-on. So, first of all I'm going to set up the scene, right, select here a background video, add image, on the camera I'm going to create a new camera from the top right here we go and make it autographic let's open a quick video I recorded for, for doing this okay so here I have the video here are uh, two options that you may uh, want to activate. One of them is auto refresh. So if you change the, the frame number, it will change on the viewport. Right? And well, this video has uh, 94 frames. So I'm going to select that range. All right. Now, Let's go to the user preferences and in the add-ons panel go to animation and here is the Roto Bezier add-on. It's developed by Sankudo, Daniel Salazar. And well we have this warning here uh, which tell us that there is not possible at this moment uh, to add new vertices when the Bezier curve is already animated. Right? So keep that in mind and let's create now a Bezier curve okay there we go let's deactivate here the normals because we don't need them and just create a quick Bezier curve here and press Alt C for closing it. Now I'm selecting this uh, these vertices here to make them uh, curve control points set handle type and set them to vector right now between this I'm going to subdivide it and this one will be automatic. All right, so just adjust these handles and all this. Alright, so we have the this frame already snapped to the to the image. So what I need to do is go here to the Roto Bezier panel. Here we have it, and click insert. Right, so now we have a frame, a keyframe for this mask right here. I'll just go to the beginning. So let them all move them and snap them to the image alright once we have it let's click again insert and we already have this animation now I'm going to the middle keyframe Just it a bit and now manually move the points. All 
right let's click insert again and this way we are going to make the entire animation I'm going to speed this uh, part of the video so you don't get bored uh, on the other side of the screen so uh, see you when the animation is finished alright so we have more or less uh, all the keyframes we needed so maybe it's not perfect but for, for the example and showing you how it works uh, I think it's enough so now let's go to the object mode let's press play and let's see if it works alright well, you can see that some frames that I've not uh, inserted any keyframe it jumps a bit out but well do you, you have an idea of how it works okay so now uh, another thing is that here in the Roto Bezier we have this option here which is fill now it's fill white press fill I, I have not clear uh, how the order on um, clicking this button is or maybe it's only in development right now but well, now we have this white mask here in the viewport. We can also make it black, right? But I'm going to use it on white, and then I'll show you how to invert it on the compositor. But, well, if you are a, a little advanced uh, user of Blender, you know how to invert an image colors on the compositor. Right, so at this point, we have two options uh, for continuum. One of them is to render the entire mask animation into a different sequence and then load the sequence the sequences on the on the compositor. And the other way is to use this as a render layer on the on the compositor and render frame by frame for taking a look of what it does. I personally prefer to render it uh, before because th this way we can uh, see the results in real time then in the compositor so I'm going to make a render right make sure you have the the same proportions than the, the original image which is this one and 720 alright also uh, I should uh, <laughs> change this uh, at the beginning but well as the proportions are the same it doesn't matter Right, so I'm going to keep this rendering and see you when the render is done. Alright, here I have the render and one thing I noticed uh, after clicking the render button is that uh, by default Blender uh, put a gray background color. In order to change that, let's go here to the world panel and change the horizon color right because we need it black in order to uh, isolate the white mask perfectly okay so right now I'm going to show you another uh, features of this uh, kind of masks okay we can go to the curve panel and here we have uh, this option offset which is pretty interesting because it allows us to make something uh, Mm, similar to the expansion feature on the mask in the in other post-production packages also we can go to the graph editor and as you can see here I have a lot of uh, keyframes but you can uh, change the curves alright and also you can change the curves or of uh, individual points and handles right but <laughs> that's a lot of uh, work but well you can change uh, easily the interpolation between smooth and linear okay so just select the keys you want to change press shift T and change it from linear to Bezier or or whatever okay so now let's go to the compositor right the node editor activate use nodes and here I'm going to delete this one okay click shift A and insert here 
an input that will be let me take a look oh yeah. hey let's go to the compositing mode <laughs> use notes and here delete it and insert an image actually two image all right let's go here load the original video and now in this one let's load the mask sequence right open and here as the source select a sequence and frames the number of frame was 94 right auto refresh auto refresh and this way you can see that uh, changing the hey, what happens here oh 94 frames changing the the frame number the videos are uh, refreshed all right now what I need is to duplicate this one okay let's duplicate this what happens here it doesn't show up oh there it goes okay so we have this two of them okay and for this one let's create some RGB curves okay and let's create a view a viewer and activate the backdrop with V and Alt B you can uh, zoom in or zoom out and with Alt and middle mouse button you can uh, slide the image on the background okay let's make some color correction to this one something like this or right, just for testing nothing nothing fancy here <laughs> Alright, and now we are going to combine this one, th these two images uh, using the mask. So let's create a misc, a mix uh, node. Let's put this one here, and let's put this one here. With Control and Shift and click on a node, we link that node to the viewer. Okay, so this is pretty interesting, and now this mask we can join it to the factor and here you can see slightly the the errors on the mask on the animation mask so uh, we have our color correction working inside that area let's take a look okay well it's actually working on the on the background just change the sorry change the order this works okay now it's working just inside the paper okay let's put it like this because it's not important the result just uh, for you to see what happens we can now make several things with this mask for example we can add uh, a new node Okay, like filter, uh, color, invert, and it will change uh, the the mask. All right, it will be inverted. So now it affects the the booth on the background and not the paper. Just delete it. Also, we can add a filter blur and make some kind of feather around the mask for example let's put uh, 8 and 8 okay here you have it and uh, there we have a slightly blurred border make something okay well maybe you cannot see it let's make something a lot bigger Let's change these curves. Let's invert this so you can see it better.
well you can see it's uh, blurred it's a bit blurred right so well you can uh, it's not probably uh, as comfortable as using uh, masking in post-production softwares but well you can use it and you can do uh, very cool things with this uh, mask uh, method right uh, and also with the new Roto Bezier tool it's very easy to animate the masks uh, because uh, before it wasn't possible right at least it, it wasn't possible this way so uh, I hope you liked it uh, see you soon and happy blending